Hi, good day and welcome to another one of my videos. This is Jen from Crystal Claws and today I'm going to play with our brand new neon pigment powders. You will have noticed a few days ago um, when I posted these powders up, I put a few sample nails up, this being one of them, and I know a couple of you had asked for a video. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to get this um, color blend. I am going to um, work with different colors um, just to, to give it a bit of a, a change. All right, so what I have here is my prepared tip. I've already put my base coat on, I've cured it, I've put my white gel polish on and I've cured that. I'm not removing the sticky layer, I am not applying a top coat. I need this sticky layer, the tacky layer, for the pigment to actually stick to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my yellow pigment powder. And I'm going to work my way up to the top. So I'm going to apply my yellow as far up as I'm wanting it, making sure that I'm pressing it into that sticky layer so that it actually grips to the nail. I'm going to go on to my orange. Make sure that I have enough. Please note that you don't need a lot of powder for this. Um, the pigment really does go quite a long way. I'm then going to go into my orange and I'm going to bring it slightly over my yellow. But because the, the pigment's already gripping to the um, sticky coat, it's not really going to um, stick to the yellow. Let me grab my dusting brush and just brush away the excess and then you can see that it, it doesn't really um, stick where I've got the yellow. All right, I'm going to go on to my next color. I'm going to go on to this really vibrant, bright, I don't even know, if, I, I can't explain. It's not quite red and it's not quite orange. And again, apply, bringing it down to my orange, making sure that I'm pressing it into that sticky layer. I want to make sure that it actually grips everywhere so I am giving it a good press down again bringing it over slightly onto my orange I kind of like to think of that color as, as almost like a notchy color and next my pink taking it right through again onto my next color I'm calling this a color fade, um, getting an, an absolute perfect blend um, would really take some, some time and practice actually. And then last of all, I'm going to go into my purple, doing the same thing again, making sure I cover it completely. And once again, I'm going to take my brush, brush the excess off. And now I'm going to come back and just give them a little bit of a, a wipe with my brush just to try and get a bit of a, a nice, sort of a nice transition between my, um, my colors. Please note I am changing back to the brush um, that I have used for that particular color. Um, where's the orange? All right, back into my orange. And then down to my next color. And lastly, my yellow. As you can see, I have, oops, as you can see, I have put a bit more yellow pigment in there. Again, I'm going to take my dusting brush and remove all the excess. I'm going to clear this away and then um, just finish it up with a bit of stamping and put some top coat on so that you can see how beautiful and vibrant the colors are once the top coat is on. Right, let's get that out the way and let's get all the stamping stuff. 
All right, so the plate I've selected for this one is our, uh, let's see if I can get it in there, our um, flowers plate. As you can see, they're nice big plates. What I do like about these plates is that, um, especially if somebody has a very long nail, you can pick up quite a big design. Um, I find with the ones, with the, you know, sort of with your little squares and, and rectangles in it, um, are more suitable for the average salon nail. But as you can see underneath here, um, I don't quite wear the average salon nail. Um, I wear fairly long stilettos. So that's, that's a bit problematic for me. So yes, this is why I do like these plates. So I'm going to use this plate here. Um, let's see if I can get it in there. Um, what I'm going to select is this part of the design here. So I'm going to start off, actually as a matter of fact, let me turn it, um, I've just got the tripod in the way here. Let me turn it sideways um, because this is um, the part of the design I'm wanting, the flower and those leaves. So what I'm going to do is, because that is quite a large area, I'm going to try and cover there. Um, I'm going to pick up quite a lot of stamping polish. Now this is proper stamping polish, this is not a nail polish. Um, they are very highly pigmented um, polishes and absolutely fabulous for stamping. And let me pick up my design. And as you can see, let me move the plate out the way. As you can see, we have a nice, super clear design. Right, let me get that nail back here. All right, and I'm going to bring this flower across the side of the nail position it to where I want it, um, let's take it up a little, and simply press down everywhere, and there we go. Um, now, as you can see, I've still got, let's move my hand there, quite a few pieces left, so I'm now going to take that, I'm going to add a leaf at the bottom, just to fill it up a little. Let's just press that down. And I've got some big leaves still left at the back here, which I'm now going to go, let me turn it all the way around. And I'm going to place these. Let's see. Place, oops, and there I just lost my stand. That's fine. And I'll stick a piece of relief in that corner. I'm just filling up the, the back of my design a little. Let's just pop this back on top here. Once I'm happy with my um, my design, oops, let's get it into the camera here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this off with my um, gel polish top coat. I just want you to see how nice and vibrant it is once the um, top coat is on it. And I'm going to just nicely, gently float that across my entire nail. And as you can see the colors, let's just take this down and there we go. As you can see, the colors absolutely just pop out once you've put the top coat on. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you're looking forward to playing with your pigments. I'd love to see your neon designs. If you already have some, please pop them in the comments so that we can see it. Otherwise, if you're going to go and play, we'd love to see them. We'd love you to come back and pop them in the comments for us. Um, hope you enjoy your day. Thank you for watching.